I'm very happy to stand before you today to speak a little bit about my people. I'm really happy and grateful to be here today and be a voice for my people and raise their voice so that uh, people can hear it and understand what we are trying to accomplish in Ethiopia. My name is Atlet Fayisa Lelisa. Uh, I represented Ethiopia in, in many competitions. Uh, I'm an Ethiopian citizen. Uh, I'm a member of the largest ethnic group in Ethiopia, the Oromo. Uh, let me allow me to say a few things about what is happening in Ethiopia. The, the situation in Ethiopia is getting worse and it is very concerning. The Ethiopian government is imprisoning its people, is killing its people, it is forcing its people into exile. People are being displaced from the land and they face a grave challenge. Uh, people, a minority group, elites from a specific minor, ethnic minority group that are in power are uh, doing this. Uh, just to give you an example, around Addis Ababa, the capital, land is very expensive. They are displacing people and selling that land to investors from a certain ethnic group. That is by displacing uh, farmers and people who uh, lived on that land for a very long time. This is, not just, this is not something limited to Oromia. If you look up north in, in Amhara region, they are taking some of the land uh, along the border and incorporating it into the Tigray region. The, uh, the question of Walkite is just one specific example of that. In Gambella region, uh, they are killing and imprisoning and displacing the people and giving the land to investors and, and uh, harvesting it themselves. In Ethiopia today, only the superiority of one ethnic group is respected, and this is uh, leading us in a, in a direction where uh, ethnic groups may turn on each other, and this will take an ethnic dimension. An ethnic conflict is not a, a simple thing. I don't want this to happen in Ethiopia. I call up on, in, in, on international community to intervene and, and make sure that peace prevails in Ethiopia and we don't have to uh, deal with an ethnicized conflict. Uh, I know that Americans are peace-loving people. My people are also peace-loving people. But they have been denied peace for a very long time. Uh, 
ummani biya kana fi motuman biya kana kaba jana ngafada i call up uh, i respectfully call on the us government and the us congress to emphasize in it is relationship with ethiopia to ensure that the people of ethiopia have the same rights that americans enjoy uh, people are calling for freedom democracy that you have here we want the same things and i call on the us government to uh, build, to emphasize to urge the, the ethiopian government to make sure that democracy prevails in ethiopia akuma amma kana akan dagaiti ibsa simbab tan dagainjira ibsi chabaya jabsi fatenjira I uh, heard about the resolution that you are releasing today and I appreciate you doing that. Notice akuma sinifsa kana barba den naga barba na nama mi un barba nu biya ke nya ke sa naga njira chu barba na murmin ke nyas kana wan ta et kana wan nu gota ni fudda gala toma ulfa dan sinin jet. Thank you very much for doing this. We are asking for peace. We are asking for our rights to be respected. We really really greatly appreciate you doing this. Umura gala toma. Thank you very much. Right here, gentlemen. Uh, we'd like to continue. We have a, two more very distinguished uh, people who really want to speak to you this afternoon. Several of the survivors of torture at the hands of the Ethiopian government are here with us today. Some will speak, including Demsu Segal Ababe, Abebe, who is also an Ethiopian long-distance runner. In December of last year, he joined thousands of Oromonos who were protesting a government seizure of the land. Singled out by security forces, he was tortured on the heels of his feet because security forces knew that he was a runner. Thank you so much. <coughs> My name is Demsus Agabebe. <coughs> I was a long distance runner like... Okay. I am... I was a long distance runner from Ethiopia, just like Olympic medalist Fajisa Lilisa. I, I was won over 30 medals in US, Europe, Japan, China, and the Middle East countries. I was training for the Olympic, but then in December 2015, I joined thousands of Oromos in the city of Solulta, who were protesting at a government land grab. Oromos are the largest ethnic group in Ethiopia. I was rec recognized by the security force because 
they had been me on television. They signed me out and uh, kept me in the prison for two days. They tortured me with a stick and uh, plastic whips and beat me in on the heel of my foot because they knew me I was a runner. I was afraid of going to the hospital because I was worried they, they would find out who I was and send me to prison again. I left Tokyo in February and came to the United States. I was still limped from the torture. I came to task the torture abolish, abolition and the survivor support coalition. Task helped me a lot. They found a lawyer for me and sent me to a doctor who referred to the foot doctor. My feet are much better now. I hope I can run again. Task does so much to help me. It serves over 300 survivors a torture survivor a year, mostly from Africa. It is a good, that is a Congress. It is paying attention to what in Ethiopia government is doing it is on, uh, to its people. I hope this resolution passes the Congress and the United States force Ethiopia to stop killing its own people. Thank you so getting this opportunity. Thank you, guys. And finally, before going to any questions you might have, uh, Ferea Sobaksa was an accountant for Ethiopian Airlines. He was tortured for speaking out against discrimination, acting for many years as a truth speaker for human rights groups. Uh, he will have a few words to say today. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I'm so honored to have the opportunity to speak today. Uh, thank you, the task, because you gave us an opportunity to talk to the American people. We were talking to high school students and their teachers. We were going out and talking to people at uh, college and the universities. We were going out and talking to civil society institutions and the faith organizations. And, uh, we, we really were trying to create awareness about what was going on in, in, in Ethiopia. And it is an ethnic minority that accounts only for 6% of the Ethiopian population that dominates both the political, the military, security, and the economy of the country. And they were trying to use both figures, words, and every means we uh, we had to create awareness and uh, we really <coughs> are blessed to have this opportunity. And uh, my name is Fajera Soboksa. Uh, I was an accountant for Ethiopian Airlines when I was tortured for speaking about discri uh, discrimination against the Oromo ethnic group, the largest ethnic group in Ethiopia. When I came to the United States, task helped me to heal and uh, gave me the opportunity to meet survivors from other countries like Cameroon and the Equatorial Guinea <coughs> who have same problem like the, or, the Oromo. Other survivors can understand my feeling more than anyone else. And we have the community of healing and we talk to one another too. Uh, the Torture Revolution and the Survivor Support Coalition Task International is a non-profit located in Washington, D.C. that serves over 300 torture survivors a year, mostly from Africa. It helps uh, survivors with legal services, psychological counseling, employment workshops, and uh, advocacy training. Uh, U.S. policy in Ethiopia and the, uh, the House resolution, the United States should pressure Ethiopia to stop killing the people, or Ethiopia could become a failed state like Somalia. It is good that Congress is paying attention, uh, attention to the popular protests in Ethiopia that are spreading like uh, wildfires throughout the country. 
I hope this resolution passes Congress, but I do not trust the Ethiopian government to investigate itself. That would be like telling a corrupt corporation to submit a reliable and a credible financial uh, report to its shareholder. I am glad the resolution also says Ethiopia should allow a United Nations reporter to investigate the human rights abuses in the country. Thank you very much. Just to conclude, and uh, then Al might have some concluding remarks as well. Three weeks ago, I was in Juba for meetings with Salva Kiir, the defense minister, and others uh, because of the horrific violence that, of course, it is current going on there. I am always concerned uh, that when there is a huge slaughter and a killing going on in one area, that some don't have the ability to say, but look what's going on right next door, right nearby, uh, in this case, in Ethiopia. This resolution, and again, the Ethiopia Human Rights Act that will follow, uh, is a clear statement that Congress is watching. It is bipartisan, uh, and it is very, very serious. Uh, we are not going to let up until we see an end, first an investigation, and a thank you for again for asking that a rapporteur uh, uh, be, be impaneled and allowed to have unfettered access uh, to, to do his or her or their investigation, but also to hold the perpetrators of these atrocities to account. Uh, to provide relief for the torture victims. Some get it here, others don't get it at all, and they live with that misery. Uh, we're going to keep on this. We hope to mark it up as early as next week in my subcommittee. Uh, we're going to just keep pushing. And again, with people like Al Green and, and others that are on this, Mr. Coffin, uh, we believe we will have success on the House floor, uh, but this is only the beginning. Now. Thank you. Thank you. I again thank the chairman for his leadership on this issue. I think it's very important to Ethiopians, but I also know that it's important to all people of goodwill, and I absolutely am going to work to help the chairman get it passed. Thank you very much.